Not a week goes by that we are not reminded of the issue of the ageing population in Australia and the subsequent burden on residential aged care facilities. To add to the mix, over half of aged care facility residents have dementia, with the majority of these residents showing behaviours such as wandering or calling out. Sedative medications have long been used to try and tackle these issues, but international and Australian studies have shown there is a recognised problem of overuse of these medications in aged care facilities. And this is in despite of the strong evidence that many of these drugs are not only often ineffective, but may in fact also cause substantial harm. The harsh reality is that their use has increased in Australia over the last 10 years. Service of use in older residents is linked to falls, fractures and confusion. More concerningly, recent evidence points to increased rates of pneumonia, increased rates of dementia decline, a tripling in the risk of stroke and an 80% increase in mortality rates. Non-drug strategies are recommended first line for the management of such behaviours and have two main advantages over drug treatment. One, they aim to address the psychosocial reason for the behaviour and two, avoid the side effects and serious toxicities that medications can cause. Many years of working in aged care homes incited Dr Juanita Westbury to investigate and challenge the status quo. Dr Westbury is a lecturer in pharmacy practice and research fellow at the University of Tasmania. After witnessing high use of sedative medication in, in many of the aged care facilities I worked in, I wanted to investigate this issue a bit further, so I started a PhD at the University of Tasmania. Initially I researched the pattern of sedative use in residential aged care facilities in Tasmania. I found that over one in five residents were taking antipsychotic medicines. I also found that up to half of the residents were taking anxiety medications and sleeping tablets. So I interviewed doctors, pharmacists and relatives about why these medicines were used, whether they felt they were effective, but I also tried to tease out who was responsible for this sedative use. It's interesting. Doctors, nurses and carers all have the best of intentions, but I found that many of these practitioners believe that these types of drugs are a lot more effective than the evidence suggests. They also aren't aware of the adverse effects they can cause either. However, my main finding was that once the residents prescribe these sort of medications, they often stay on them for much longer periods than the guidelines recommend. So I decided to look for solutions. First, I looked at what had been done in other countries, what worked and what didn't. I also used my research to design an intervention to promote appropriate use of sedative medication in nursing homes. The intervention is called REDUCE and simply stands for Reducing Use of Sedatives. I use the systems already promoted and supported in Australian nursing homes like audits of sedative use and pharmacists provided education and I designed and trialled a multi-strategic intervention involving nurses, doctors, pharmacists, residents, carers and relatives and it was specifically targeted on promoting appropriate use of sedative medication in nursing homes. So this project is a really great contribution to improving the quality of life for people with dementia because if we go about it thoughtfully and methodically and with skill then we can very often reduce medications and improve the person's awareness, capacity to interact, capacity to enjoy things um, in a way that also is um, supportive of improved general health and well-being. I saw with mum that it was important to get meds right and keep them to the minimal that was constructively necessary and positive in the result it produced, but that the rest of the time it was about human interaction um, with us, with the people around her, and that in fact that went much better. Juanita's work focuses on educating the nursing staff and carers about sedative medications. After all, they are the staff on the ground who have to manage the behaviours and the mental health of residents. It's also about a team approach and heightening the awareness of the issue of sedative use and embedding a process where these medications are reviewed productively. The project is a six month intervention, starting with an audit of sedative use, results which are presented to all nursing staff at each nursing home in a tailored education session. Practical guidelines are promoted along with information for families and residents about the side effects of these medications and often with very modest benefit. Finally, residents taking these medications are targeted 
and a review of these medications are performed. The innovative project is funded by the Australian Government Department of Social Services under the Aged Care Service Improvement and Healthy Aging Grant Fund, NPS Medicine Wise, the Pharmaceutical Society of Australia, Bupa, Southern Cross Care and independent aged care homes are all working with University of Tasmania to enhance and deliver the project. In the past we've relied mainly on medication, but those centres now realise that uh, behavioural interventions seem to have a far better approach and we need to treat it in a holistic manner, having understanding of the background of, of the resident, discussing with family, taking a collaborative approach, both nursing, medical and lifestyle. The REDUCE project was recently trialled in Tasmania. The results were promising, showing that a significant reduction in the use of antipsychotic and benzodiazepines, as well as a doubling of dose reduction attempts. It's clear that reducing the use of sedatives in aged care facilities has benefits for all. For the residents, less sedation, more engagement, less falls, pneumonia and strokes. For the family, a more interactive, less sedated family member. For the staff, satisfaction that they can manage the care of residents with more resident-centred strategies without the overuse of sedative medication. For pharmacists, promoting and ensuring quality use of medication, using their professional skills and expanding their role. For the home, promoting resident-centred care and working towards excellence in the accreditation standards related to sleep, behaviour management and medication management, as well as working together effectively with other health practitioners. And for the community, ensuring our older population are met with dignity, understanding and respecting their needs without sedating medication unless therapeutically appropriate. By reducing and promoting the appropriate use of sedative medication, the REDUCE project offers the potential to make a difference to the lives of residents and the staff that work with them. The ultimate benefit for many residents in facilities around Australia is a better quality of life. Here lies your opportunity to make it happen.